Good day to all of you, the viewers who have been on Daily Culture. We continue our journey through Polish art and the question is, how much do you know about Jacek Malczewski, uh, which of course is one of the greatest Polish painters. And right now there will be an auction of his paintings. With me is Julia Materna from Dasa Unicum, one of the major auction houses in Poland and in Europe. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. I'm pleased to be here <laughs> with you today. I already put, I mean, exposed this little secret, but of course you have these two beautiful paintings of Jacek Malczewski there at your collection. And they understand those are the gems um, <laughs> of this. We have many uh, gems like at this auction, but I think those are the, the major pieces. One of them is on the cover of our catalog. And this is not without a reason, because this painting, there's nothing like this painting. And there wasn't on the market. It's a painting, it's an early painting of Jacek Malczewski uh, from the 19th century, 1888. And it's a very important piece in his head. So um, that's why I invite you all to see the painting um, in reality. It's a painting described by many of his contemporaries. It was on like several exhibitions, um, a very important piece, which is connected sometimes um, to the like Siberian uh, period in his painting, which is like he was creating those uh, like pieces of martyrdom, of Polish martyrdom, of people removed from Poland to Siberia, and it's placed in this period of, of his art. So, but the title of this painting is Nativity Play. Yes, Christmas w is coming. Christmas so. is coming, exactly. <laughs> uh, nativity Play, it's a, um, it's a beautiful scene of like people, peasants gather around the manger uh, with a baby Christ, the center of this picture, which is, uh, it's a beautiful piece, like many peasants in colorful costumes, uh, focused on one little baby, as exactly. it was described in the Bible. <laughs> and the baby <laughs> is alive, in a way. Yes. It's not, it's not a, um, a, you know, it's not, as it say, it, it would be like uh, just a doll, for example. <laughs> in yeah, a... it is, and there is this light coming from the, um, from the place where so the baby is So it's like a Polish peasant would be in the times of Jesus? Yes, of and course. Would be it, was, um, it was often uh, actually uh, represented on the Polish paintings that um, there was this like story from the Bible told from the old times and then um, like in a Polish setting. So uh, it, it seems like a house from Zakopane, for instance, exactly. or <laughs> like a countryside near Krakow. Uh, and it's beautiful and it's making the, maybe some of the viewers at that time were more familiar with this type of scene because they could imagine like the nativity scene just like that. Exactly, very, very beautiful, a lot of colors, beautiful. A clothing of, of those true. people and a lot of uh, light in a way from coming from the painting. Yes, and there is, I'm not sure if you've seen, but because this uh, person is hidden, but there is like, um, uh, you can see the Virgin Mary at the back of the painting. So I haven't <laughs> seen it. <so. laughs> yes, I mean, like the whole focus is on the baby Jesus and the, you know, and the men gathered around who are admiring this miracle. So this is why it's a, it's a beautiful painting, a beautiful realistic painting, uh, as you said, full of light and beautiful colors. One of the masterpieces of Jacek Malczewski and of course his contemporaries were writing about that, of how he was actually um, preparing to paint this picture. Um, so I, I advise you to read this article in the catalog just to get familiar with that. And uh, what's the estimate price, if you can? It's three to five million. <laughs> three to five million. Well, that's a challenge. <laughs> there is, but um, there is no no such a piece like like this one. And there, the pieces from the 19th century are rarest on the auctions. Like we mostly present portraits from the 20th century, the first Do half we have, of the 20th um, century. In, in Poland collections of Jacek Malczewski, which are in private hands and not in the museums? Yeah, we have many collections like, like that. I mean, at least three to five paintings of Jacek Malczewski or more. But also there are beautiful um, public collections uh, of his works, like the one in Rogali near, near Poznań. It's a beautiful museum, which was a private museum years ago, but now it's open to the public. So like one of the greatest masterpieces of his works and Jan Matejko are just there. We can also go there and and, and visit. It's a it's a nice um, gesture of a uh, collector who is opening their uh, his or his 
her house for yes. uh, for the viewers, so the bigger audience can can see it. But there's another pa painting of Malczewski, uh, and there's a portrait of his friend, as I understand. Yes, um, Tadeu, uh, it's a portrait of Tadeusz Botnicki, who was his friend, but also who was a well-known figure in Krakow. He was a sculptor. That's why we we see those two eagles. Like we don't know if they are real eagles or if they are sculptures, because there is also like in Malczewski. Malczewski's painting, there is this part of, uh, you know, like, there's also a, always a secret, like some kind of symbolism, and it's hard to guess whether they are real or not. But it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, portrait of a friend, very monumental, I would say. Yeah, well, and also it, with this element of patriotism, because of course we have yes. those two eagles, which represent Poland in of a way. Course. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure. I would say there are sculptures that are not real, but, well, who knows? <laughs> we wouldn't know. Malczewski was a very um, talented, but also enigmatic person who liked to keep to himself. Although he, ha he was very charismatic, he was a strong character and, of, of course, uh, a patriot. So to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily, well, uh, if you're huge fans of Malczewski and you want to spend three, four million, then go, <laughs> go to the auction and have this piece for yourself. Uh, but of course, if you just if you just want to admire the picture, it's there as well um, in Dessa Unicum. And of course, you can find pieces of Malczewski in many other Polish museums. We encourage you to do so. And thank you for staying and watching Poland Daily. <laughs>